today explore Ramadan Bazaar Bukit Bintang in this video you will see fresh watermelon juice the making of famous Roti John not forgetting Ramadan favorite Murtabak hello my angels welcome back to my channel oh my god I miss you guys so much so sorry I've been caught up with so many things but today this video is all about Ramadan Bazaar in Bukit Bintang. Let's go. Okay, let's go. The very first shop is all the barbecue item, which is like barbecue fish, satay, sausages, hot dogs, and uh, so many varieties of like chicken wings. Everything is barbecued, and then pass through some snacks, which is also known as kueh. Um, this is known as nasi kunyit which is turmeric chicken um, moving on we would see what you call um, fried items okay just now it's barbecue this is fried so that fried fish fried chicken and last but not least this section is my favorite because they were actually using a wok at the bazaar itself and frying fresh made fried rice and noodles packed uh, they looked so amazing guys <laughs> Pit stop here is the ayam pinyet, or actually the chicken is fried and then smashed on a board and then served with rice. Moving on, we get desserts like fresh strawberries with melted chocolate. Not forgetting, guys, what I saw was uh, this corn and freshly made watermelon juice. Okay, when I passed through the uh, drink section. Wow, I was amazed. Right behind the bazaar, there is a shawarma shop. But we are moving on to the bazaar itself. Finally, the most popular item during Ramadan, if I'm not mistaken, is the Roti John. And here is the making of it. Just in case you are new to my channel, my name is Sandra. I'm a traveler, storyteller, and a big time foodie. Do not forget to subscribe and enjoy. I actually asked a lot of my expat friends who live in Kuala Lumpur why do they like Roti John and they actually told me specifically Middle Easterns it's because of the Ramadan feeling when you eat Roti John because it's really special during that time so that's interesting to know so now moving forward let's walk further in you get like this fried chicken section and a variety of drinks at the dream store wow hey, of course my personal favorite is murtaba let's see the making Ah, 
This long line is again the long queue, guys. It's again for Roti John. Can you imagine? So there's actually two sections selling Roti John. Wow, it's just so famous during this season. What I'm saying is there's halfway to go and moving forward to the other half there's a huge crowd here. Why? Because of the famous chendol. You'll see it now. That's a Malaysian drink made from coconut milk, pandan and brown sugar. It's so delicious. Halfway through the crowd start coming in and me, I really enjoy this ambience because it only happens in Ramadan. If you do not know, I've been in Ramadan in many other countries like Egypt for example, Tunisia, Algeria, but they did not have a bazaar. It's usually dead during the evenings. So most people prefer to cook at home and do an iftar at home. So this is why I totally cherish this bazaar only happening in Malaysia. For me, it's a wow. So this is the making of apam bali. First you go into the flour, then sugar, and then ground peanuts it's really delicious of course I got one for myself so here I take away the RM5 blue rice I also spotted the Malaysian shawarma which is actually the first time I've never seen it before looked really nice these are mini snacks they're called kue they're made from tapioca coconut um, agar agar banana fritters curry puffs you have pandan yeah so that's a lot of wine this side is uh, baspusa and baklava also some uh, fresh fruit Walking past the mixed rice section is super exciting because there's so many varieties. They actually give you this little container where you can choose if you want half a portion of rice or full rice. Then eventually you walk around and see what side dishes you want. If you see this guy here, he chose a piece of fried chicken with some gravy and whatnot and then you pass the container back to the seller and she charges you accordingly it's such an interesting concept to be honest
So I got my purchase, now I want to go find a place to sit down. I decided to walk towards the pavilion mall. Okay, in this area you will see very exciting crossing. The zebra crossing here is similar to the one in Japan which is the mini Shibuya. In KL they have it in Bukit Bintang where all the lights the traffic lights will turn into red concurrently so check it out After the little Shibuya crossing and walk, uh, you pass through the Arab street. So interesting because they have Arab street, Japanese street. Kuala Lumpur is super metropolitan. It's one of my favorite cities in the world actually. So right now walking towards the pavilion mall. The reason is I need a place to sit down. I can't go to the KLCC park because it rained heavily. So I assume uh, the park, the grass would be wet so I can't sit down. Therefore I'm going into a mall to order a drink and then um, eat of course uh, do my iftar there uh, passing some uh, deco this is uh, the coach uh, deco for this month so technically I walk into uh, the KLCC park but then it was raining so right now I'm gonna go into pavilion to find a place to sit down yeah because I think the park the grass will be too wet that's why It's really blue like look at the color. Basically, there was a girl who was looking for a place to sit down and eat, but the entire food court was too full. 
So I called her to sit uh, right next to me so she can have a meal. This is the story. So what I'm eating this blue rice is actually a budget meal. Uh, the rice is blue and they give you just one mini scoop of rice uh, with some salad which is like sprouts and some onions. It also comes with this uh, sambal which is made from coconut. The sambal was really nice and a tiny piece of chicken. Um, if you guys know the name of this dish, please comment below so others can find it. Uh, yeah, so it's a budget meal and it's a must try. It was really delicious. I am so hungry and it's been so many days after I had rice. It's been so many days I didn't have rice. Funny story, the girl next to me also got the exact same food, which is the blue rice. So while eating, I decided to just chat with her. It's really nice to actually make friends, although it's me, myself and I eating, but I made a friend, so it's all good. So it's been an amazing evening. I ended the night by checking out the spice rack at the supermarket because I needed to uh, digest the food I ate. And of course, my favorite place are scented candles. Um, yeah, so I want to say thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Love you.